Senator Klobuchar for an introduction. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member Moran and distinguished members of this committee. Thank you for the good work you do, the bipartisan work you do. Uh, that's a hallmark of this committee. And I'm proud today to introduce my friend and fellow Minnesotan, uh, Dennis McDonough, as President Biden's nominee for Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Today, Dennis is joined by his wonderful wife, Kari, as well as two of his three kids. Uh, Dennis grew up in Stillwater, Minnesota, which is on the uh, Wisconsin border, as opposed to our other great border, Senator Rounds, with South Dakota. Um, and he is the grandson of Irish immigrants, the son of devout Catholic parents, and brother to 10 siblings. He attended St. John College in Collegeville, Minnesota, and in addition to graduating summa cum laude, he played safety on the very proud championship St. John's football team. I've been privileged to call Dennis a friend for years, and I know he will serve our country so well as the secretary. As he has done his whole life, he will honor the promises our country has made to our veterans and their families. Dennis's commitment to our nation's veterans was clear during his time as President Obama's chief of staff when he made sure that every decision impacting our service members, veterans, and their families was befitting of their sacrifices. Showing respect and gratitude for our nation's veterans is not something he just prioritizes. It's a value for him. He is an adept manager who understands how to tackle complex challenges throughout our government, which will be vital for the next secretary. As we all know, and you have mentioned, uh, Chair and Ranking Member, the VA is facing a number of challenges from helping veterans to stay safe during the pandemic to improving the quality of care for veterans around the country. And as you also note, uh, great improvements have been made thanks to all of you and many others. These are not simple problems and these are not simple challenges and they will require true leadership uh, and vision, which have been, again, the hallmark of Dennis's time in public service. I also know he will work with you tirelessly to find bipartisan solutions, which has never been more important as we move our country forward. So much of our work with veterans is about keeping our promises and showing respect, not just in our words, but in our actions. When you get to know Dennis, for those of you who are just getting to know him, you will see the qualities of honor and loyalty in his commitment to his family, uh, which also includes his family in Minnesota. I know this firsthand. Uh, you see it in how he has treated everyone that he works with. Uh, when he worked in the Senate, when he worked as President Obama's chief of staff, you see it uh, in that loyalty, and he puts our country first. During his distinguished career, he's approached each and every job with a spirit of respect, honesty, and collaboration, and a willingness to make himself accessible to his colleagues and to his team. Members of the committee, I know he will do the same with you in this job. He is deeply committed to supporting his workforce. One of the things I want to tell our veterans is I know he will do two things so well. He will listen and then he will get things done for you. One of my favorite stories about Dennis involves this. Uh, we were having a lot of trouble in northern Minnesota with mines closing down uh, because of steel dumping um, from China. And uh, Dennis was President Obama's chief of staff, and he went up uh, to northern Minnesota, I think it was very cold, I will add, and met with um, about 50 people. And it was this long, long table. And Dennis sat and listened to every single one of them. And the very last person to speak uh, was a guy named Dan Hill, uh, who's a miner, an iron ore miner. And Dan told the story of how at his son's preschool, uh, when they graduated, the teacher had asked them, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the kids were saying things like an astronaut and a basketball player. And Dan Hill's son said, I want to be a miner. I want to, Joe Manchin can relate to this. I want to be a miner like my daddy. And then Dan, the miner, takes this T-shirt, steelworker T-shirt, 
and he throws it down this long table to Dennis, saying the words, make it come true, Mr. McDonough, make it come true. And I'm sitting there next to Dennis saying, you were a football star, catch the t-shirt. And he <laughs> did. And he not only caught the t-shirt, but he put Dan back to work, and he put so many binders back to work because he came back to Washington, helped us pass legislation, and most importantly for this job, implemented things through the bureaucracy of government by getting many different cabinet secretaries and others to hold hearings and the like. I tell that story uh, because I believe in my heart this is the guy you're going to get as Veterans Affairs Secretary who's actually going to follow through and listen and get things done. I'm going to end with the words of a poet who uh, President Biden happens to love, Seamus Haney. And given Dennis's Irish roots, I can't think of a better person to quote at today's hearing. Haney once wrote, anyone with gumption and a sharp mind will take the measure of two things, what's said and what's done. He will not just say the words as your secretary, he will get things done. I urge the committee to support his nomination. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.